Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video, I'll be discussing about the five mistakes that you should fix right now if you have that in your resume. So that's going to help you a lot in increasing your chances of selection or getting past the resume shortlisting process. So the first thing will be personal details. At times what happens is ki in the rush of you know fixing or filling the rest of the part, making your profile look too good, you miss out on the very, you can say the most important detail and very small detail and that is your personal details. Make sure your name is correct, your phone number is present there and it is correct and your email ID because if it all you get shortlisted and if they want to contact you and if your personal details are incorrect then that will be like very bad for you. So please make sure that all your personal details are correctly mentioned because you don't want to miss out on an opportunity because of such a very small and very stupid mistake. So this will be the first one. Next is resume size or a number of pages. If you have a resume which is very long, you've written too much and you've made it of two or three pages, please don't do that. Make sure your resume is one pages. And like literally everyone, whoever is applied in, you know, applies in companies, works in companies, you can always see their resumes are mostly one pages and you can easily add all your information in one pager and it's a little bit challenging because you have to you know improvise you have to make sure all your information is there but it's also there in such a manner that it doesn't exceed the limit so that's upon you but like that's how everyone does it so make sure your resume is one pager because nobody has that much time to read your two or three pages resume and that will definitely decrease your chances of selection or you can say decrease the chances of your resume getting shortlisted so this was the second point. Third, we have links. So links can be for projects or if you have provided, you know, any profile. Let's say you're writing about your, you know, lead code profile or you're writing about your code forces or code check profile or anything. Make sure the links you have provided correctly so that, you know, the information looks authentic. It doesn't look like you've just written something there just for the sake of, you know, showing your profile is good. So make sure you have links and even for your projects, if it's working, if it's there, if it's deployed or if it's present on github or anything please provide necessary links whichever thing that you've worked upon and you have a link for that that the person can actually see the working you have to provide link for it because it adds on to your advantage and it doesn't look like just something that you made and added into your resume or you just added it onto your resume without even actually making it next point is your too much or too little information and what does that mean is like I said in the second point that make sure your resume is one pager. So you need to make your information so crisp and so to the point that it doesn't exceed the limit and it is also not very less. That is, you should highlight the important facts or figures. Let's say if you worked somewhere, if you are mentoring students, make sure the number of students you've mentored, if you are working on your project, what were the results of the project, if there was a model, what was the accuracy. So things like that, make sure you write them and bold them down and also be precise. You don't need to write paragraphs one or two lines summarizing everything is more than enough so yeah that is one thing not too much information or too little information next we have irrelevant information at times just to fill up your resume you start writing information you start putting down the data that is not even related to the job you're applying for this is not a very good practice because eventually that will be a disadvantage for you because you know they won't be able to find the actual thing that they're looking for and maybe you're a very you know good candidate for that profile but since you've written too many things and they missed out on the important parts so that will be very disadvantages so make sure that you are not writing irrelevant information whichever information related to you whichever skill project anything is relevant to the job make sure you only write them down in your resume and you're not writing any extra information so this was it for the five mistakes that you should avoid and i hope you liked the video and if you did please like and share it with your friends so that it can help them as well and that's it from my side thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day Hi there, before we proceed further in the video, I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product company interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to participate, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate now. Happy learning guys.